I've been using both Shopify as well as Wix for my own sites and I honestly think that both of these tools are really good, however they are for different kind of use cases. And that's exactly what we are going to go over in today's comparison video. I'm going to list you all of the pros and cons, we are going to go over the pricing, features, ease of use and so on, so that by the end you can then make an educated guess on which tool is going to be the best choice for you. I'm not sponsored by either of these tools, I'm just saying my own opinion. However, I will leave you links to free trial deals down below and you can actually also use these links to support me for completely free. Before diving into the features, there is one key difference which you will have to understand. As you can see, Wix kind of brands itself as the go-to place to create a website without limits and I think that sums it up really well. When looking at the pricing and the overall options on Wix, you can see that with Wix you can really create a website for almost anything. Now Wix also does offer e-commerce features and that's what we are going to compare in today's video, but the key difference to Wix and Shopify is that although Wix does offer e-commerce features, the sole purpose of Shopify, literally the only goal of Shopify is to be the best e-commerce platform out there. As you can see their tagline would be to be the next solo flyer, their next global, the next store they line up for and so on. So that is something which you will have to keep in mind. First of all, let's actually dive into the dashboard so that you are going to get a better overview on how these platforms are going to work. As you can see, this is going to be the Shopify dashboard. Both of these platforms are super intuitive and beginner friendly, so getting started with both of these platforms actually is relatively easy, but I will still also leave you links to beginner tutorials down below. Now when looking at Shopify, you can see that on the left we can find our orders, products, customers and basically anything related to the backend and we then can also also see our sales channel. Shopify does offer an online store which is probably the feature which is it, it is most known for but Shopify does actually also offer a POS system, you, they do offer a Shopify shop and so on. But for today's video we are going to focus on the online store. We can then actually preview the store, this is something which I've built up for one of my previous videos. We can then click on customize and this is something which you will have to understand right away. As you can see right here we are currently on the home page which we can customize. We can add new sections inside right here. We can add, uh, for example, we can add a slideshow, we can add multi-columns, colleges and so on. But everything on Shopify is just going to be tailored to make your shop the most money. When for example looking at the product page, let's for example open this up, you can see that right here, I haven't really customized this, but um, right here this is also going to be tailored so that your site is going to make the most money possible and Shopify is really good in terms of conversion rate. But the sole purpose of Shopify is that you should have a good looking and converting Shopify store. Now when it comes to creating standalone pages, like for example an about us page or, uh, or story page or something similar, uh, although you can do that inside Shopify, you are going to have some customization options, but you're going to be relatively limited when comparing it to Wix. Of course there is also a workaround for this, Shopify for example does have a really strong Shopify app store where you can install landing page builders like Instant for example, but, but I do not want to get in depth into that right now as this isn't included by default on Shopify. Now when now looking at the Wix editor, you can see that you can select different kind of elements, you can actually drag them around which isn't possible on Shopify, you can then actually view them, you can do the quick edit, you can basically change everything inside right here. Um, and I honestly have to say that I really like the overall Wix editor. I think it is super intuitive, beginner friendly and you can really build up whatever you want. You can for example add new elements right here and you're going to have a lot of other options in terms of customization and in terms of actually building up something unique. So for example if you would want to change the text right here you can basically drag this onto anywhere you want to and that's basically how you can go ahead and customize stuff on Wix. This is really intuitive and great for building up um, kind of a more custom and more artistic website I would say. Okay, now when looking at the overall pricing of Shopify, you can see that Shopify is going to start at 24 euros per month, which actually is relatively cheap, given that you're also going to get a free trial for three months, so make sure to get that with the link down below if you want to. And as you can see, uh, basically they also do off, uh, offer pricier options, but the biggest uh, biggest difference here is that the card rates are just going to be different, so um, these pricier options are most of the time only going to make sense um, if you are going to have tons of orders on your store. 
Now comparing this to Wix, as you can see, although Wix does offer a cheaper light plan right here, this isn't going to include the e-commerce features. As you can see, the basic e-commerce features are only going to be available for the core plan. And if you would want to get the standard e-commerce features, you would have to pay $36 per month and you would have to go for the business plan. In my opinion, when looking at the pricing, I think Shopify actually is the better choice. On Shopify, you're going to get a way better e-commerce platform. You're going to get the Shopify app store. You're going to have an all in one place to do anything related to your shop. And Shopify also is great in terms of automating shipping, automating the sales tax and so on. They are kind of built for everything regarding e-commerce. And on Wix, as you can see, the pricing is also kind of off-putting if you ask me. But However, if you do want to create more creative websites or if e-commerce just isn't a big focus of you, then you can also go for Wix. Keep in mind that this is going to be a little bit more pricey and you aren't going to get a lot of the important settings regarding e-commerce. Now, that's basically it for this video. I will leave you links to both of these tools down below. I would recommend you to just start free trials for both of them and to then actually see which one is going to suit you guys the best.